It's finally the easiest time of the year to make those sales when it comes to e-commerce. I mean, it is Q4 right now, depending on when you're watching this video. The interesting thing with Q4, and by the way, this is like my fourth or fifth Q4 because I've been doing e-commerce for such a long time now, is there's a lot of common mistakes a lot of e-commerce store owners make during this time period, which they actually think they're doing a good job by doing these things. However, it ends up biting them in their behind by the end of Q4. So in this video, we're not gonna be going over one or two major Q4 mistakes we're gonna be going over seven different q4 mistakes which i personally made time and time again before i ended up losing so much money that i had no choice but to just kind of solve these mistakes and find a solution for them so this video is one video you're gonna want to watch until the end because a lot of these things it's important to understand them in detail to really ensure this q4 is the best one for you and i mean i've already made a video on my channel where it tells you exactly what you should be doing with q4 the perfect strategy and all sorts of stuff like that so let's start talking about exactly what you should not be doing so first things first the main mistake you will do that will ruin your q4 forever and the thing that you should not be doing is not liking this video just kidding but that definitely helps me put out more videos just like these so it'll take two quick seconds okay hopefully you have smashed the like button down below but the real first thing which you should not be doing regardless of what happens during q4 is to focus on multiple traffic channels hold on what did I just say? You heard me right. Do not focus on multiple traffic channels during Q4. And here's an example. So right now on my Google Ads dashboard, when I'm recording this video, it's actually about to just start off with Q4. And right now we are at a 9X ROAS for this e-commerce brand, which is a high ticket e-commerce brand. It's doing really well with Google. I mean, with Facebook, the CEO is trying to just basically stop using Facebook ads for this brand. By the way, it's an e-commerce brand I'm handling Google ads for under my Google ads agency, your marketing, which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month with Google Ads or in general, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to that next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But essentially, this brand now is 100% Google Ads. The worst thing the CEO can do right now is go on Facebook, give Facebook another try, or maybe go on TikTok ads, which they have never been on before, or maybe Pinterest ads for that matter, or maybe even YouTube ads, and try to diversify to those advertising channels. Now, hold on. I know this is the thing you should be doing uh, normally, and it's something I actually recommend that you do. However, Q4 is not the time to do that. You want to be following the 80-20 rule during Q4. And this 80-20 rule basically says that you should be focusing full attention towards 20% of those things which are bringing you 80% of your results. And if you kind of check your advertising platforms in general, you will see that there is one channel which is bringing you 80% of the results. And in the other one, if you are like using two or multiple, those kind of combine are bringing you the rest of the 20%. Or even with products, there's like one major winning product you have right now with your brand which is bringing in like 80 percent of the sales daily and then there's other products which are doing quote well but they're they're only contributing to about 20 percent so instead of focusing on that 20 percent during q4 focus on 80 percent which means if you notice google ads is doing the best for you there's no reason for you to go on Facebook and try Facebook right now. There is no reason for you to try TikTok ads right now. Go all in on Google ads. Make sure you're abiding by their policies to avoid getting suspended during this time. But just go all in. Just forget about everything else. Whatever is bringing you the most results, go all in. There's nothing worse you can do right now than diversify your budget, diversify your attention towards multiple different traffic channels. Do that later. After Q4 ends in Q1, Q2, Q3, you have all the time in the world to try out Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, Pinterest, and so on and so forth. Right now is not the time. Focus on one ad platform. I can't tell you how many times I've tried this. I've tried scaling on Facebook, tried scaling on Google. At the end, Facebook barely scaled up. Google ads, it was scaling before, but then since I stopped paying as much attention to it, the sales started to dwindle down. And at the end, I ended up doing much, much worse than the previous years when I used to just focus on one major thing. And I'm talking about previous years right now, by the way, but definitely one advertising channel, Go on to it, focus on it, whatever is bringing 80% of the results right now, go all in on it. But this brings me to number two thing, which you should not be doing in Q4, and that is trying all campaign types, focusing on all campaign types. Let's assume now you have not done thing number one and you have not decided to go that route. Instead, you wanna go all in on Google ads, great. But the next worst mistake you can do is now on Google, try out shopping campaigns, try, launch a bunch of search campaigns, launch a bunch of display, discovery, YouTube campaigns, dynamic remarketing, 
and the list goes on and on. You don't want to do that because it's the same thing as I said with number one, focus on that 80-20 rule. If you notice shopping campaigns versus search, shopping brings in 80% of your results or more, go all in on shopping. For now, just put the search campaigns on the side. If you have something working well, but it's only bringing about 20% of results, great. Just increase the budgets on that slowly over time, but your number one focus should be shopping campaigns. Whatever is crushing it for you right now, go all in on it. And by the way, that's exactly what I'm doing with this ad account here, by the way. As you can see, there's a lot of performance max campaigns running here. There's also a few shopping campaigns running as well as dynamic remarketing. However, if you now notice how many performance max campaigns there are in general, there's a lot more performance max campaigns. And the interesting thing is our attention is going more towards them than any other campaign combined. Because if you look out of the top five spending campaigns within this ad account, on four of them are those performance max campaigns. So there's no reason for me to focus on this search campaign right here at the very bottom, which spent only $155 because that believe it or not, that's what a lot of e-commerce store owners, including yourself might be doing. You want to kind of increase the results for these one because you think, you know, that's where the low hanging fruit is. And I understand, but right now it's not the time to do that. Right now it's about going all in with these campaigns, which are performing, increasing their budgets, doubling, tripling, quadrupling them even. But that's something that you should not be doing during Q4 which is focusing on all campaign types. But number three, do not scale during Q4 and then look into suppliers. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? This is, by the way, one of the worst mistakes I've seen e-commerce store owners make again and again. And as a result, at the end, they ended up refunding 50 to 80% of the orders. They ended up going in a loss during Q4 when it's the most profitable time for 95% of e-commerce store owners. And they lost all the morale to run their e-commerce brand long term. They just ended up giving up on it. So instead of just scaling and then looking into your supplier issues, First, look into suppliers. Make sure the products you have that are doing well right now, you can actually source them on time. You can actually sell them when orders go from five a day, 10 a day to 50 a day, 100 a day, and so on and so forth. Because trust me, this is one of the easiest ways and the worst ways to lose your sales with e-commerce to give those refunds back. Because in Q4, you're gonna get a lot of orders and by the end of Q4, if you're not able to fulfill them or time or whatever problem happens, you just end up having to refund. It's gonna really cause a big dent in your bank account. It's gonna cause a big dent in your overall growth for your e-commerce brand. So again, if you don't wanna really lead your e-commerce brand towards failure, make sure you got the supplier issues taken care of before you go all in with scaling any type of product out there. I don't care what it is. If you have been selling it for two years, 10 years, make sure your supplier can still source it right now when you start to scale and when you start to sell more of them. But this brings me to the next point on the list, which is do not add too many products. Listen, I get it. I always say, always add more products, try different things, try different marketing platforms. But Q4 is not the time for that. I mean, adding new products, you should have already done that in Q1, Q2, Q3, because Q4 is about taking what's working and then pushing more budgets towards them, pushing more bids towards them so that you can end up scaling it further. Because otherwise, Q4 is just gonna be useless for you if you continuously test different things out. I mean, don't get me wrong, you should still add a new products related to Q4 during this time period, but that's not the main goal of Q4. For example, with e-commerce and with life in general, there are seasons to things. There's fall, winter, summer, spring. And the same thing with e-commerce. There's Q1, Q2, Q3, which is one season, Q4 is yet another season. In the winter time, you can't go out in your bikini or in your swimsuits out in the swimming pool and just swim around. Why? Because that's not how life works. Same thing with e-commerce. You can't just go out and test different products out, test different strategies out during Q4 when you should already have something that's working and when you're trying to scale things out. But this kind of brings me to the fifth point on the list, which you should not be doing, and that is optimizing things, whether it's on the landing page or whether it's on the back end or even campaign side of things below the 20 to 30 day period or more frequently than that. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Like I mentioned earlier, you wanna already have things that are working during Q4 and this applies to your back end this applies to your landing pages as well. So even if you go and do decide to kind of test things around, do CRO, change some things up on the landing pages, make sure they're not too big, significant changes. I mean, I could sit here and tell you horror stories about how e-commerce store owners decided to change up their entire website, make it this professional, beautiful landing page with all custom landing pages in the middle of Q4 because they thought that that's what you're supposed to do, that's what's gonna work, 
only to destroy their sales, go from doing $5,000 to $10,000 a day to doing 500 barely or even less than that. So you really don't want to do any big changes even and any small changes you make that change, wait 20 to 30 days, know it, monitor it and then see if it's doing good. If it's not doing good, kill it quickly. I mean, revert back to your original change very quickly. Don't let it run for too long because again, Q4 is about making as much money as possible, as much profit that too as possible. So remember one wrong move can destroy your performance, especially with Google ads significantly. So always be sure to keep that in mind when you decide to make all of those changes. But this brings me to the next point on the list, which is do not scale aggressively too often and too quickly. I mean, I understand that Q4 is about scaling as much as possible about making as much profit as possible, but there is a time and place to increase budgets to increase the bids and scale during Q4. You should be increasing them frequently and by frequently, I mean every four to seven days. But if you do it too often, more frequently than that, you are setting yourself up for failure because understand Google ads is a time based platform. This is not the time to basically two X, three X or even four X your budgets daily or every two to three days. I mean, the most you should be increasing your budgets by is 20%, maybe 25% every four to seven days. And I even say that go and wait about seven days or so, because if you do it earlier, you're going to do more hard than good for your campaigns. And then you're going to be in my comment section crying, saying how my strategies don't work or I'm of the biggest failure this world has seen and stuff like that. So just kind of control your excitement and take things slow because I promise you as you take things slow, as you start to increase your budget over time and bids over time, they will start to perform better. But right now it's about scaling slowly over a period of time. And by the way, that's why you should be scaling starting September or starting whenever your results get better. So you have September, October, November and part of December. So that's about three and a half months to four months of scaling of budgets you can do. And I mean, if you even increase the budget every five days, then that's pretty much good amount of days because you still have about 100 days to 120 days during Q4 to scale that budget upwards. But this kind of brings me to the last point on the list, which is do not sacrifice on your processes. What do I mean by this exactly? So during Q4, as I have been saying so long, you're going to start scaling. You're going to start increasing your budgets. Everything is going to be positive. Everything's going to be looking great and amazing. But this is the time period a lot of e-commerce or owners mess up their back ends. They're not properly set up. They don't have a team to take care of their customer service or their ads or anything else that they should have already taken care of, maybe even shipping, for example. And as a result, when they start getting this big surge of orders, their overall systems start to break. And when that happens, they basically start to go in panic mode. They start to make the wrong decisions. And that's when the e-commerce brand starts to kind of become shaky and stop performing as it used to previously. So this is not the time to build those processes. This is not the time to improve your funnel, your landing pages and your base overall. You should already have team members in place prior to Q4. You should already have your processes and your SOPs in place because again, Q4 is about scaling. It's about enjoying those profits. It's about bringing up the revenue and profits as much as possible. So you should already have your customer service taken care of. Your fulfillment should be on point. Your ad somebody ideally should be handling it if you are not able to do it on your own or even if you are able to do it on your own, it's always better to have another team of experts do it for you. But again, it's not the right time to sacrifice on processes. It's not the right time to even build those processes in the first place. So that's what Q3, Q2, Q1 is for. Q4 is all about scaling and enjoying those profits. But like I mentioned, this is not the time for you to do things on your own. So if you're already doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with Google ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But if you found any type of value in this video, the sort that like button, the sort that subscribe button and watch any of these two videos right in front of my face to take your e-commerce journey to the next level. And I will see you in my next video.